Congress and the White House have a new deadline to get a deal done to raise the debt ceiling. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen now says if they don't, the U.S. could default on its debt as soon as June 1st. House Republicans have passed a measure to raise the limit, but they're demanding spending cuts. President Biden says he won't negotiate on cuts as part of a debt ceiling hike. The Federal Reserve is kicking off another two-day meeting today to consider whether to raise interest rates again. Experts widely expect the Fed to announce another quarter-point boost to interest rates in an effort to bring inflation down even more when the meeting wraps up tomorrow afternoon. Six people killed. More than three dozen people were injured after a rare dust storm swept through central Illinois, leading to a major pileup along an interstate. The National Weather Service says newly plowed farm fields contributed to all the dust. The CDC has tracked a salmonella outbreak to a gold medal flower facility in Missouri. General Mills recalled four varieties of the flower last week. The recall includes two and five pound bags of bleached all-purpose flour and five and 10 pound bags of unbleached all-purpose flour with better if used by dates of March 27th and 28th of 2024. Writers in Hollywood going on strike today after the Writers Guild of America failed to reach an agreement with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers yesterday. Writers have been trying to reach a new contract with studios as the industry shifts more into streaming. The strike means production of many television shows could come to a halt immediately, while the start of the new seasons of other shows may be delayed later this year. Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae backed mortgages are about to get cheaper for some people, but more expensive for others. Changes the Federal Housing Finance Agency made to mortgage fees take effect this month. Borrowers with lower credit scores will see less of a penalty. And if your credit score is higher, you will see price tiers and in some cases, increased fees. But home buyers with lower credit scores will still pay more to obtain a Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac backed mortgage than those with higher credit scores. Starting next Thursday, federal employees will no longer have to be vaccinated against COVID-19. The policy will end on the same day the public health emergency for COVID-19 is set to expire. And starting on May 12th, non-U.S. travelers entering the U.S. will no longer be required to be fully vaccinated against COVID. Free COVID-19 tests will not be guaranteed after May 11th, but there are still ways to take advantage of the benefits of the public health emergency before it expires. Pharmacies and other retailers have home tests and costs may be covered up front or reimbursed by insurance plans. There's also the federal website covidtest.gov that allow U.S. households to order free test kits for delivery. The site is still up and running with four free tests available to any household that has not ordered since December. Today is the last day of early voting for the city's general election. Residents will vote on the mayor, city council seats, and issues like Prop A and school bonds. Polls are open until 8 p.m. today. You can find your nearest polling location on kset.com as well as other helpful information. And that's today's Don at 9. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.